Should Scientology be tax exempt? Absolutely not. <laughs> Scientology should not be tax exempt. I, in fact, I wrote a piece for the Huffington Post saying Scientology should not be tax exempt. It's taking our tax dollars for a group that is essentially defrauding the public, violating people's civil liberties, uh, is establishing a, a totalitarian regime that's against every essential component of the American way. And the leaders should be put in jail. I've encountered over the years many, many times where, where people ran away from Scientology and tried to go to their family, and the family would not receive them or were so angry at them or hurt at them because they had borrowed money or because they didn't show up at their brother's wedding or didn't come to mom's funeral or didn't respond or visit when a, there was a birth and such. And so I often found myself in a situation where I've said to the person who'd run away, would you like me to call your family and be an intermediary and explain that, you know, it wasn't your fault that you didn't show up for mom's funeral or your brother's wedding, that you were under mind control and that you genuinely are now out and you genuinely want a chance to start your life over again. And so a lot of what needs to happen, I think, is for family and friends who have been so hurt when a loved one leaves them and gets into a destructive cult, is for them to understand not to be angry at the person, but to be angry at the process or the group or the group leader and realize that ultimately people are walking out of these groups and there is hope. Um, so don't give up hope, please.